diffuser and then put this over it and trouser pants so have like a whole suiting moment and all black. <gasps> Loving that. This one is definitely going in my cart. Kicking off my series this month called A Scene in Vogue. If you got my weekly scoop email, then you already know the details, but the month of October is gonna be all about this theme of As Seen in Vogue. So the idea behind As Seen in Vogue, and this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, is taking inspiration from what we see in Vogue or on all of these different media channels and magazines, and really giving it the always play dress up twist. And what that means is I'm always looking and researching and kind of digging through what are the trends, the inspirations, the runway shows, and then I'm interpreting them often through thrifting and using what I already have in my closet and maybe investing in a few pieces here and there. So I wanted a whole month to really focus on this idea. I love when I get the latest Vogue magazine or I love when I get my Vogue daily email that kind of lets me know just different articles. I don't know, it's just a fun little brain boost. And then I'm always kind of thinking, how can I you know, pull this off with what I have in my closet or if I go thrifting, you know, now my eye is really looking for those types of pieces. So we're gonna just be the always play dress up version of an article that would go out inspired by what's happening in Vogue. So for this episode, we're focusing on an article that was on Vogue.com. Of course, that's a huge resource besides just the magazine. And I'm taking an article that Christian Allaire wrote and it's called Why I'm Wearing Skirts Over Pants This Fall. Yes, really. I remember skirts over pants in the early 2000s definitely being a thing. And he, uh, Christian references this with Hilary Duff in you know, denim with a sparkly sequin skirt over it. I've actually really been a fan of this for a long time. I love taking a dress and wearing it over pants or layering things in an interesting way, but I do think this is kind of feels fresh and new to me now. Here's a few images of me wearing it in the past, and I do think I will be doing some of this idea, especially I love like a pleated mini over trouser pants, but I just think there's so much more inspiration that we're seeing now with this idea. And I love this inspiration here from Kenneth Nicholson. And this is actually the spring 2023 runway show. I love this super high waist voluminous skirt worn over a little bit of a trouser pant with a slight wider leg and it really being in a fun shade of minty green. And then also on Peter Doe's spring runway show, a little bit more of a tailored subtle version in the sense that it's all black with some ombre on the top of the shirt. But I really love this reference to going with monochromatic of that all black, more of a knee length um, pleated skirt over some black trouser pants worn with, it looks like kind of a loafer style shoe. And then I always love what Chapova Luena does, always so bright and colorful. So this to me is really a fun reference with this idea of print mixing with bold colors, wearing a very hyper pleated skirt over a pair of pants that already also have a print on them. And then even for fall winter this year, Jacquemus did a look on the runway, which was again, monochromatic, a black, but a little more of a black flowy skirt over some black, it looks like a flare, like a knit flare style pant and worn with just a lacy camisole. So to me, this is perfect for kind of this season now that fall, but it's still warm weather that we're having. And so a little more of a light and airy version of it. And it feels romantic. I like the black and white combo. And then Chloe did a leather dress over some, these look like knit oatmeal colored pants. And I love this idea and worn with big chunky Oxford shoes. So I liked the idea of taking this kind of romantic shape of a dress, but it's leather and then throwing it over some trouser pants. So it's not just limited to skirts over pants, it can be dresses over pants as well. And then all of those feel definitely a little more of a dressed up version, but I love the designer SC103 
and they did this kind of deconstructed very to me a casual look taking a denim skirt it i actually feel like you could diy this taking a denim skirt and it's cut up the center but just held together with the buttons and then worn over almost it looks like a corduroy pant or just a very kind of casual trouser pant worn with a sheer top and some fun you know crochet knit scarf detailing and worn with silver moon boots but to me this felt like a very cool downtown version of it and even something i would take inspiration i think on the weekends or even when i am maybe you know going to the sports uh fields with my kids I feel like I could have fun with that, like taking a denim skirt and wearing it over some just kind of casual pants. So what's fun now is we're gonna take As Seen in Vogue, we're gonna take this article, we're gonna take this idea, and now it's almost like we're gonna write our own article and put it into action and bring it to life with some always play dress up magic. So what I'm gonna do is head to the thrift store, bring you all along. I'm gonna look for maybe one or two options of skirts and maybe pants. I do already have a lot of this style in my closet, so it's not that I need a bunch of new items. I feel like I'm just gonna start hunting for either, I like the idea of going with the monochromatic, so looking for a more simple black or gray pleated skirt and then thinking, you know, what trousers in my closet could go with that. Or also if I can find some in the thrift store, a pairing, I will look for that as well. And then we're gonna bring the whole article to life by styling up some of the things that I thrifted with some of the things from my closet and maybe come up with, you know, three different examples of styling up the skirt over the pants. Yes, really. And this is gonna be so much fun. So let's go ahead and head to the thrift store. So we're sourcing, this is our closet that we're pulling from, the Vogue closet, but it's a thrift store closet. And then also my closet and there, and then we'll get into the actual styling. The first thing I'm gonna do is head straight to the skirts section. I've looked at the skirts and these are the ones that I have found. This is a great plaid pleated moment. This would probably be knee length, so I think it would look great with a trouser pant that hits at the ankle or at your shoe and definitely more of a structured version, but I feel like you could do something really fun that feels kind of British influence. You could go punk with this and also maybe a schoolgirl moment as well. This one reminded me of something I would see in Vivian Westwood in terms of the stripe. It has some of that pirate influence. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Because this is silk and has a little bit more fabric, I think going back to the inspiration of Kenneth, I'm forgetting the last name right now, but where it was a little more high waist and then fuller, I think this could be so fun with another stripe moment or kind of picking one of these colors and layering it over that. This one is my favorite. This is old Contempo Casual. It's suede, it snaps, and I like a more of a mini length because I do think that's really versatile to style over trouser pants and it could even be almost see it how you would see a belt and then put it over something. So I even you could do like a blazer and then put this over it and trouser pants. So have like a whole suiting moment and all black. <gasps> Loving that. This one is definitely going in my cart. I think that one is getting styled up. I have to try it on. I love that idea with a mini uh, version that feels very versatile because it's a snap style. And I do think you could do it over trousers, over a dress or like I said, a suit. Um, this is a great little version if I wanted to go monochromatic and black as well. This has some pleats to it, also has a sheer panel that runs through at the bottom, so I think that could be interesting. And then this is just classic, perfect, little black pleated, uh, kind of with a chiffon overlay, and really nice. You can just see that it's sheer but I think that definitely feels very Peter Doe that we saw. I'm gonna go and look at all of these and put them on and kind of decide which one I think I'll take home. I think for sure the Contempo Casual may be one of these other ones, but hopefully just this can give you an idea of the type of skirts that you could look for in the thrift store. I'm also gonna check out trousers because you never know if I could have a perfect trouser to pair with one of these. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the dressing room and I'm gonna try 
try on the skirt and the pant combos just so you can kind of see some ideas. None of these necessarily all go together, but I just want to give you the idea and then when we go back in style, we'll, we'll really bring it to life. Here's the striped version. I love how high waist this is. It does remind me of the designer that I was referencing. I think I like it better with the idea of maybe another mixed print trouser, but I think that length works. Um, but it does have, I mean, it really is a matching color. And if you wanted to do fall color mixing, I feel like this is definitely a wild and fun version. This is actually more fun than I thought it would be. I don't think I'll end up bringing it home, but this is the skirt with the sheer panel running through. And then these are some tweedy trousers that I found. I do like the idea. I think with this one, I would want a pant that's more of a chino, like a black trouser chino style so that it matched in texture, but kind of a playful, fun idea. I really like this one. This is the one that I'm definitely bringing home. This is the old Contempo Casual. And like I was mentioning, it's, it's very mini, but I feel like you can wear this almost thinking of it as a belt layer. I don't even mind it with these pants. I think the suede works with these tweed and I think I would definitely do like a dark sock or a boot to make it work, but loving that idea. I don't think I showed you these pants that I found, but they're old etc. and they have this really amazing tapestry look to them. I'm going to try this skirt over them. I really like it. I don't think I'll bring this home. It's a little like ill-fitting, but that idea totally works. And I think layered over these pants, actually rolled the waist just to kind of see what it looked like a little shorter, which I think I like that better with this style pant because there's definitely a little flare to the pant. And so I think a skirt that fits above where the flare begins really makes it chic. So I'm gonna bring home the Tweety trousers. I'm gonna bring home those amazing tapestry ones. And then also the suede wrap skirt. And then I definitely know I have some options in my closet. We're gonna go back to the studio and we're gonna style up some skirt over pants. Yes, really. <laughs> For the first look, I started off with two of my thrift finds. I absolutely fell in love with this Tempo Casual suede wrapped vest, and I knew it would be perfect over pants. It's short, and with a wrap skirt, I feel like you can create different lines, so you can even pull the bottom half out to add some asymmetric styling. And then I really fell in love with these tweed pinstripe pants. They're vintage structure men's pants, but but worn low at the waist. They feel so effortless and cool. And then from there, I wanted to create a look that felt like fall and also really quirky and full of different textures and color. So I added this polka dot bow blouse from the 70s and then pulled out my tried and true favorite sweater vest. It feels like the pumpkin spice latte in a vest. It's orange with brown and yellow and it just that argyle print that's absolute perfection for fall. And then my go-to shoes this fall has been the Sam Edelman Little Mary Jane flats. I love them. I like the effortlessness of throwing on a flat with a trouser pant and it just created a cute look. The final detail was throwing on my go-to pillbox leopard hat, which is my fall staple. I'm looking to add another one, but I loved adding the leopard print in with this look. And I felt so quirky and fun for this fall look with a skirt over pants. For the second look, I pulled completely from my closet with a crazy fun mix of prints. I just found this amazing wrap skirt that's patches of all kinds of vintage fabric. And I loved the idea of taking that skirt and layering it over some print pants. These are 70s trouser pants that I had tailored to fit perfectly and brought it up for more of a cropped length. So because of the crop, I felt like a print sock would go really well. And I added these 
pops of yellow loafers from Taylor and Thomas. Up top, it was a continuation of all of the prints. I pulled out a paisley button down that I thrifted last winter and added my go-to print tie. And then it was just an excuse to add another print, so I pulled out this yellow checkered blazer and of course, topped it off with what else but my leopard print pillbox hat. I finished off the look with these ruby red cat eye sunnies and this felt like the perfect quirky mix print skirt over pants. For the last look, I started with those amazing tapestry pants that I found in the thrift store. Immediately, I wanted to dress up more of an evening look, something that felt really cool with an edge and playing off the metallic. So the skirt that I paired it with is this wrap leather skirt from Modern Citizen. I love that it has olive green in it that's popped in the pants. And with the wrap, I felt like I could kind of leave it open a little bit, exposing the pant. I don't think you need to be afraid of styling a long skirt with a pair of trousers. I think trousers peeking out from underneath makes it really cool. And then because there's metallic woven through out, I pulled out this vintage Tadashi cinched tank that has all these amazing embellishments on it that felt really glam and fabulous. I paired the pants with my two-tone Anine Bing boots. I felt like the contrasting black and brown were a nice touch with all of the tapestry print of the pants. And all of this made me think of the Matrix. And so I slipped on some Y2K shades, which just gave this look kind of a cool downtown edge. I see myself wearing this out to dinner, to a fun party with some friends, or even for a night dancing this fall. So that is As Seen in Vogue, episode one, styling up the idea of skirts over pants, yes. Really, it's happening again. And this was so much fun to take this inspiration, referencing definitely the early 2000s with the idea, but giving it a whole new spin and a whole new look. I feel like I found such great pieces at the thrift store with the suede wrap skirt and some amazing pants. I'm so excited to style them up with more skirts and also just on their own. And then coming back to my closet and putting looks together with this idea of skirt over pants, definitely for me being inspired by the idea probably of the retro revivals, some and even Vivian Westwood, but then also coming in with the idea of a glam moment, an evening moment, how you could dress up a skirt over pants and take it out to dinner or take it to a fabulous um, party or ring in the new year <laughs> in something like that. And also just a very quirky mix of prints. I always love a quirky mix of prints. So thank you so much for watching episode one. There's gonna be two more episodes, so tune in next week for Us Seen in Vogue episode two, and I'm excited to share the idea that I'll be styling up for you next week. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday that come out at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And also, make sure you are subscribed to the weekly scoop email that comes out on Tuesday. There's a link down in my video description below and you're just gonna get a whole new dose of inspiration, usually unpacking more of what we've talked about here. I'll share the mood boards that go along with these ideas that we're styling up and share some always play dress up magic that I'm seeing on Instagram from everyone who's using the hashtag always play dress up, so make sure you're using that as well. And finally, while I'm saying that, let's say it again, always play dress up, bye!